Hello everybody and welcome to another React Native video. Today we will explore a charting library. Uh, as I've been working on a specific app, I have um, been exploring a few chart libraries and I found one that I really like. And I'm going to show you this library in action today. On the right side you can see a screen on the app where we have a bar chart with uh, multiple bars for each value on the x-axis and uh, basically what's going on here is that the user in this app can uh, fill out a weekly report so for example if I click on week 25 I can fill out some values here and one of the values is the hours spent this week and then the hours spent next week like how much you predict you will spend next week and then the idea with this chart is that to show how many hours you actually spent on that week uh, compared to what was planned so for the very first uh, week we don't have any planned hours because uh, it's the first week we haven't had a week before that to plan ahead all right if you need something similar for your project, follow along in this video so you can create something identical or just follow along and check out the new library here I will show you guys. All right, I have opened up this file, weekly report bar chart, and I basically cleared it out. Just put a simple view in there. So currently we're rendering nothing to the screen. And uh, I'm gonna go step by step through how I managed to implement this bar chart. All right. So first step is to download the library that I chose to use, and the one that you need to download is uh, called Victory. Okay, and there is one library for both uh, native, so for React Native, but also for the web. So the one you need to download is going to be react um oh sorry victory native this one and if you're on ios we're able to do a pod install right after okay after you downloaded that library you can get started all right so let's do this so the first thing when we create a chart in victory is we want to first have the victory chart component so let's okay so we don't get in autocomplete here so let's try to import from victory native the component we want to get is the victory chart okay so we can start off by creating that now, in the chart we saw at the start, we also have some axes, so we also need to to define them. But actually, we can leave it empty, and it's going to generate some default ones. Let's so let's come back to that later. Next part is we want to have a victory group, and the reason why we want this group is because we have multiple bars for each entry on the x-axis. If we didn't have that, we could skip this group, All right? And now we get to the bar component. And for each group, we are going to have two victory bars, All right? Okay, let's save that. So this is uh, the very basic structure, and we even rendered something out here. I'm not really sure why it even rendered something because we didn't supply any data or anything but I guess this is just kind of like a preview. Now let's uh, let's add in the different props to get this one working. So let's first define the data. Okay, I'm just going to define it outside here and basically I have two victory bars, one for the planned ones and one for the actual hours. 
So I'm going to make an object here and in this object I'm going to have two keys, one called planned and one called actual. All right. And uh, sorry, this is not going to be an object, it's going to be two arrays inside here. So for the plan one for the first week, right? So let's say x axis is going to be week one and the y value is going to be uh, 50. Okay, or the y value is going to be, let's just say, zero. let's just say 20. Okay, so just before this object in here I'm gonna put null and the reason why I'm putting null here is because we don't have anything planned for the first week okay now for the actual values I can copy paste this one put in two values here and then change this to week two and then just adjust these values so but we want the actual ones were 50 and for week two it was 8t all right that's okay we can use this data now now we need to supply the data to our to our chart here all right so for my first bar I'm going to supply a data prop here and in here I'm going to put data dot actual and for the second bar I'm going to put data dot planned if I save that I'm already getting something some something decent over here uh, but yeah we haven't really defined any colors and there's also some misplacement of things so to just to get stuff a little more neat for the offset group or the victory group even we can add an offset put 20 there just so the items are a little more split up oh i i did a small, short, small mistake here so this one should actually be week two since we can't really plan for week one then the chart makes a little more sense all right now um, let's change the colors now and to change the colors all we have to do is just uh, change the style prop of these charts so um, let's see here so inside style we can access data and inside data we can access fill and here we can put a value. I need to make sure that I'm formatting this as an object. All right. Now we have that orange color there. So now we can just copy paste this styling up here and change it. Going to make it blue maybe. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's not looking too bad actually. We already have something pretty decent here. Now, uh, what else can we do? So if you remember the first screenshot, we had a legend to kind of explain what, what is blue, what is orange. Let's add that as well to our chart. So inside the victory chart, I'm gonna add in a new component and that's gonna be the victory legend. And uh, in here, just like the data, oh sorry, the victory bar, we can add in a data prop. This time the data prop won't be the actual data up here, but rather it's data that explains the, the data, what the, explains what's gonna be shown in legend basically. So here we're gonna put in an array and I'm going to put one that's called actual and then I'm going to pass in a symbol prop and inside the symbol prop we have a fill prop and uh, this is the actual value right 
that's gonna be the real one. Oh, and we have a little dot over there. That's good. Now let's copy this and then change this one to plant and this one to arch. Okay. Our legend doesn't look great right now, but we can change some props around to make it better. So first one could be the X, which basically says where on the X axis should this be? And to make it responsive, we can grab dimensions of the screen, take the width, divide it by two to get it in the middle. And now we need to minus it with the width of this element. And maybe this element is 50, I'm not sure. Hmm, 50, 48. We could bring out the inspector to get the actual value, but this, this looks okay. Now, another thing we can do is we can change the orientation. So here we can put it to horizontal. Then it's gonna look like that. And that's gonna increase the width, right? So now we need to also increase this value to the double. Okay, still not centered, but you can tweak this value to get get it centered. All right, uh, other props, gutter could be useful just to separate things a little. And uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty satisfied now. That looks good. Now, yeah, uh, one last thing was the X axis and the Y axis that I mentioned at the beginning. So as you can see, it already produced a Y axis here and just a blank X axis. If you want to customize that further, having some labels, for example, we can add in a victory axis here. And this axis can take a label and we can put in a uh, week here That's our x-axis. Now, if you want to create a y-axis, we just put in a, an axis, another one, and then pass in the dependent axis prop. Then we get the y-axis, okay? And then we just add another label that says ours. Currently, this doesn't look too great here. It's a little overlapping. Uh, as everything with, with victory uh, if you want to change some styling, you pass in the style prop and then do your changes in here. And for me, I want to, well, basically move it a little bit so I can access the access label here and um, apply some padding, maybe 20, 35. Okay, 35 is good. Now it's out here. Okay, cool guys. I uh, I'm pretty much done with my my chart here. Uh, Victory, great library. You can customize it really well, and the API for setting it it up makes uh, a lot of sense, at least to me. If you guys like this video, give it a like, and if not, I'll see you in the next one.